Hey, what's up? What's going on? It's B Plus, and welcome back to yet another recap countdown. And it's no surprise that this week we're going to be taking a look at Lecrae's fourth and final installment of Church Clothes. Now, this has probably been one of the most highly anticipated projects in recent Christian hip hop history. So I was excited to get my hands on it. I was actually so excited that I was going to do something a little bit different. I was going to do somewhat of a, like a reaction video to this particular project. But then I stopped myself and said, that's not normally what I do. I always give myself a week to kind of sit down digest the project before sharing my thoughts so i was able to calm myself down and that's what you're getting ready to take a listen to here now so if this is your first time checking out a recap countdown really quickly here's what i do i take a look at my five favorite bars my four favorite beats my three favorite tracks my two favorite features and i'll round everything out with one final recap so without any further ado let's go ahead and get into the craze church close four Five bars. Don't be afraid of them people. Don't be afraid of the evil. They can mistreat us, but they never take us from Jesus. He'll never let them defeat us. They know that they'll never beat us. God works away on my evil. Turn me into a believer. You better believe it. Put some more time on my meter. I cannot wait till we meet up. They can. Bogies on my hearse. Tell my mom don't cry, cause I'ma get up out the dirt. We was on the county, now it's seafood out in Turks. You can keep the crystals, I like prayer that really works. I'm still in America Beautiful, elegant, sinful, and arrogant It's plenty hysteria After they shot at them schools in that new cafeteria No sneak in that area Cause if you ain't patriotic, you might be a terrorist I know it's embarrassing We say united, we stand, but divisions are therapy No you Some of us hate on each other We bang on each other like we ain't been covered in blood We try to cripple each other We trip on each other like we ain't in need of his love Meanwhile, these people confused, so they pray to the universe Our life is how people view the church Say we want peace and we say we want unity We need to move as a unit first 116 on my flesh, I bleed different My kids raised on CHH, I breed different It's Vincent Bantu on my shelf, I read different I drink the blood, they need the flesh, my greed different all right, so those were my five favorite bars off of Lecrae's Church Clothes 4. Before we get into this bar segment, I do want to say that sometimes when it comes to bars, I'm really looking for like the, the metaphors, the wordplay, the punchlines and things like that. But then there's sometimes where I'm just really listening for what just really speaks to my soul and my spirit and what particular season that I'm in. But then there's sometimes there's some bars where um, they're able to just kind of put into words something that's always been in my head, but I don't really know how to say it. So I always like to say that when it comes to bars, because sometimes people just always look for like the hardest hitting line and they're wondering why I'm missing some of the obvious ones. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop into my five favorites. Starting off with Fear Not. Um, I really enjoyed that just because he was just speaking to uh, this God's faithfulness through those times where he was being misunderstood. Um, probably sometimes where he just wasn't speaking as clear as people would like and they were kind of reading into some of the things he was saying, but just talking about how um, God's not going to discard him even through all those things. But I really like how he uh, had the line about uh, putting more time on his meter i'm kind of a visual person so i just kind of got like that mental that mental picture of 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 your time is kind of going down your meter but somebody putting more time on it just to kind of give you an extended um a grace period if you will so that was my favorite um uh, well that was my fifth favorite moving on to number four on dirt that was just vintage lecrae um just kind of uh, speaking to those new age people who who uh, pray through crystals and think think that they emit energy and 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 um healing and things like that so he's just saying hey i'm gonna stick with what works and that's prayer so that's vintage lecrae i'm pretty sure that some of the early lecrae uh, lovers are gonna love that line or they did love that line uh, moving on to still in america that was number three um i just really like that just because he just starts it off by saying that like yes america is beautiful and elegant but it's also arrogant it also has its issues um but then he just kind of goes through and just talks about how we're supposed to be the united states but um our therapy is division so i thought that was a really really dope clever line and then moving on to uh cc4 that was the opening track of um of the project but also that particular bar actually speaks to the bar and um and, and still in america from my from my uh, point of view just speaking to the fact that through all the confusion that the that the church is having the world is watching and um and they're ultimately um getting pushed to um to different cults the different religions and things like that so uh just just a reminder that we need to be doing better because the world's watching so uh that was my second favorite and on to my favorite bar on the entire project it goes to misconceptions for just the way he ended that he gave his allegiances 
to 116 and then also the chh talking about how his his, his kids are growing up on chh i can definitely resonate with that um every single saturday morning i'm djing with my four-year-old um i still contend by the time he's like maybe 10 years old he's gonna be one of the uh, dopest uh, christian hip-hop djs um then he also gave a shout out to i think his name is dr vince bantu i've got hip to him through the jude 3 project so he's a definitely a, a very uh, very wise man when it comes to uh, just kind of knowing the history of our Christian roots as being um, uh, African descendants and things like that. So just a perfect end to Misconceptions 4 and the Misconceptions uh, just kind of series there. So those were my five favorite bars. Now let's move over to my four favorite beats. Four beats. And we pray, we pray, check me out. And we pray, we pray, we pray. Every day, every day, every day. And we pray, we pray, check me out. If you add it up, everything we've been through, we still managing. Used to drink every night just to handle it. Losing sleep every night from the damage. Okay, four bows, I'm tipping. Candy paint, stay dripping. I'm grain gripping to my hands, callus. I'm an H time on the way to Dallas. I'm a stain the gravel, I'm a swing the saddle. I'ma keep the peace, try to bring the battle. Let the heat get at him. What I mean is Adam, let Evie that, but so the evil happens. Get it? Yo, I done came down. So those are my four favorite pieces of production, my four favorite beats off of Lecrae's Church Clothes 4. I kind of went kind of long, kind of going through my bars there. So I'm gonna be a little bit brief here, but I do want to make sure that I shout out all the producers on each song. So starting off with number four, Take Me Up. Uh, the producers on that was Joel Harris, Joel McNeil, Carvello and the Beat Breaker. So what I really enjoyed about that one was just the 808. Um, I know it's not a part of the beat, but the, the use of the choir on there, but then what really sealed the deal on that beat for me was the piano. And I think the pianos was by Joel McNeil. Don't quote me on that, but I think that he is responsible for the pianos on that one. So moving on to number three, that was the I-45 Freestyle. The producers on there was Dylan Hyde, Leslie Johnson, Curious George, and the beat breaker once again. So what I really enjoyed about that one was just like that authentic H-Town sound. Um, I believe that um, the beat breaker is from Houston. Um, so I think he probably had a heavy hand on the production on there. But then also the uh, T-Dot's cameo, I know that that's not part of the production, but just kind of hearing T-Dot on there, that was pretty dope as well. Moving on to number two, uh, that was Journey. Uh, the producers on there was Lau LaDuff, Don Cannon, um, and I think I'm gonna pronounce this right, but probably Nix Maximus and then the beat breaker as well. So uh, probably the, the unsung hero on this project is probably the beat breaker. But what I really enjoyed about that piece of production was to kick the snare. The sample was really nice on there as well. So that was my second favorite beat. And for my favorite beat on the entire project, that goes to Spread the Ops. That was by uh, the Drum God. Dude, Clay, Simbo, and Juan Ra. So what I really appreciated about that song was if you have over ear headphones, if you have a nice system in your car, um, that's the only way you need to listen to this song. I mean, the drums go crazy. The highs were going crazy throughout the entire song. Just a really, really dope um, uh, listening experience that I really do feel like it really complimented Lecrae's voice. So those were my four favorite beats. Now let's move on to probably the harder part of the recap countdown, and that is my three favorite tracks. Three favorites. I know I got it. I even want them down back. Yeah, I know how to pass back. Cause you know I got it. And she look good, don't she? On top of that, she good for me. Made me want to say, even though I got plenty. If I'm down to my last penny, I still got it. I 
even know why I'm rapping, they never listen They like, ain't that what's his name, who be got for rapping that Christian? I'm standing on a raft in an ocean, waving a flame Like, look at me, I'm friends with Kendrick, I'm not a lame Look, truthfully, they'll never let us get in The major misconception is that we supposed to fit in And we got indie tribe, we got holy smoke, trust the holy ghost You don't need the industry to know you if you know you don't Look, before the music, I was riding around in my mother's whip Now the Tesla doors rise up like the mothership Mothership On Jesus in Atlanta, fresh from Tennessee Wasn't legalistic, catch me with a cup of Hennessy I would speak at churches, hang with leaders and such You know Judah, Piper, and Keller Tony Evans was clutch All right, so those are my three favorite tracks off of Lecrae's Church Clothes 4. Starting things off with number three, Good Lord. Now, that was one of the ones that almost made my four favorite pieces of production, my four favorite beats on the project, but it lands right here as my third favorite track on the project. Now, Lecrae and Andy always get together, and whenever they do, it's an explosion. They always put together very dope tracks together, but what I really enjoy about both of them is when they get the opportunity to celebrate their wives on the track. Now, your wives are, are very, very important. They're always there to pick you up. They're there to challenge you um, because life can get really rough and um, you just need a safe place to come home and um, and just be able to lay your head down. So um, I really enjoy when they get opportunity to celebrate their wives. They've done it uh, on their separate tracks, but now they uh, team up here on Good Lord to, to deliver a very dope song. So moving on to number uh, two, uh, I decided to go with Misconceptions 4. I mean, how couldn't I? I mean, it had AI the Anomaly on it. It had John Keith, no big deal. Uh, probably a, a really good chance that no big deal. You're gonna hear uh, his verse again later on in this recap countdown, but the way that he was able to end his verse and almost immediately after him putting the mic down, John Keith picked it up and he did his thing. Um, then you had like a nice little break there and then AI the Anomaly, she came in just with her patented singing, rapping, vibey sound. Uh, she did her thing and then Lecrae, um, he always tends to do this. He, uh, he throughout all these misconceptions, throughout uh, one, two, three, and four, uh, he lets everybody else uh, rap and then he, he closes out the song and I thought he did a masterful job on misconceptions four. So that leads me over to my favorite song on the project. And um, yes, I did cheat. Uh, you did not um, hear wrong, I cheated. I did a blend of journey and deconstruction. And the reason why I did that is just because you really can't listen to one song without wanting to listen to the to the next song. I mean, I thought they just, they, they did a really good job of just kind of letting you know where Lecrae is right now in his heart. Now, if you've been following him on Twitter, uh, on IG, all his social media accounts, if you've been following him on YouTube, if you've read his books, you, you, uh, you already know kind of the direction that he's going and how he's um, and how he's feeling more healthy but a lot of people don't uh, follow all those things so they don't know but I really do feel like these two songs really just show you kind of where he's at through uh, like I was saying like if you don't follow him through his books and all his socials and things like that so I just thought that that was just a wonderful way to end not just church clothes for but just like the whole journey the reason why he decided to do it and things like that so uh, journey and deconstruction those are my two favorite tracks on the entire project so with that being said now let's hop over to my two favorite features two features they say that boy can't take the pressure but they see that i did it mama i finally learned my lesson now we counted them digits and i came up from the bottom ain't gonna ever forget it we did it we did it we did it we did it hold on my brothers we got blessings on the way I told them clowns we gon' need some ride today We did it And I knew that they would always make a way Tell them we did it, we did it, we did it We, we Bandish up the wound that you see bleeding first Meet them where they speak and do not leave with you a heathen first Be the person that they need so they can see that Jesus word He can make a lion out of liar A magic city of choir Transform you too if you feeling a little shyer Question, did you think you too messy for the Messiah? Misconception is that your mess could disqualify you Do not follow me, we follow the one who part the seas I can't follow party of politicians so party me Foot up on their neck cause they never let air garner breathe I know they can...
All right, so those are my two favorite features on this project on the Craze Church Clothes for now. I know it's a bit of a surprise to some of my hip hop heads, but my second favorite feature on the entire project goes to PJ Morton. Now, what you don't know is PJ Morton is probably in my lifetime, he's my favorite musician. I've been a fan of him ever since uh, I first heard of him like in 2000 and maybe six, 2007, like with his first project. I think it was something, I think it was called Emotions, but um, that's neither here nor there. I'm a big fan of PJ Moore and I still need to see him live by the way. But um, I just feel like he's the Stevie Wonder of our, gender, uh, of our generation very soulful and i just thought that he was just a, a, a great compliment to lecrae they actually have one other song together lecrae was on a song called religion on pj morton's project so uh with that being said that was my second favorite feature now let's move on to my first favorite feature and it has to go to no big deal there's no way i can pick against it i almost slid in ai the anomaly instead of pj but i decided to go pj now number one i go to no big deal um i just really enjoyed um just like his approach to the misconceptions from like the world's point of view of us and like and and it was just it was just really really clever um the snippet that i played he talked about it's probably a better idea for us to bandage up other people's wounds and and versus uh just calling them heathens and 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 and, and condemning the world i don't think the lord called us to condemn the world but to but to try to save it but i feel like a lot of times uh, what believers do is we feel like it's up to us to to defend god it's almost like like we're god's ghostbusters and we have to go out here and create youtube channels we also have to share our two cents on the twitter posts and things like that but i don't think that that's always the case i feel like sometimes we can be so caught up in delivering the truth that we lack grace and i really do feel like that's what uh no big deal's heart in this verse was and we we are so quick to jump to theology which is a good thing we're so quick to 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 kind of hop on the academic train and and feel like we have to intellectually break uh, break down um people who aren't thinking the way that we are but um i think that this verse really uh really combats that so that was my first favorite feature no big deal now let's move on to one final recap one recap Hey, what's up? Welcome back. It's B Plus, and thank you so much for checking out this recap countdown of Lecrae's Church Clothes 4. Now, where does Church Clothes 4 stack up as it relates to all the other church clothes? Um, I'm not really going to do that. It's a little bit too early to do that, and I just really like and enjoy appreciating projects for what they are and the time they were made, and I don't like to compare things necessarily to different eras and things like that. And I know a lot of people do that when it comes to Lecrae just because when he got started out, I mean, he was a lot of just Christ bars, Christ-centered bars. And I love that season of Lecrae. And I even enjoyed the season of Lecrae when he was going through his struggles because we all go through our, struggle, our struggles as believers, um, there's a lot of believers out there who you would think that they never go through anything because they're always they're always critiquing another believer. They're always talking about their missteps and how they're mishandling this and how they didn't say this right. Um, I don't really have a whole lot of energy for that because in my own faith walk, there's times where I'm not seeing as clearly as I should or or I'm not walking on on on, on a path that um, that somebody else may feel like it's a good path or it's the right path. But we're human and we go through things, so I appreciated that season of Lecrae and I'm definitely appreciating this season now as he's coming out he sounds healthy um, as I was saying before if you're following him on social media if you're following him on YouTube if you're reading his books like you you see the growth in that but I'm excited that he was able to kind of really pin that out especially in those last two songs like I said before in Journey and Deconstruction so I really enjoyed the project um, I, I, I do feel like this is probably going to be in the running for one of the best projects of the year um i know some people get a little frustrated when it comes to the just because he is the biggest name um i was uh, kind of joking with the crew uh the crew's hip-hop corner if you're not following them on youtube and they called him goat cray and i kind of hopped on that as well and was calling him goat cray i just think that he's meant so much to the christian hip-hop um, space that um, it's more of a, it's more of a, of a thing of honor and respect. Now, do I feel like he's the greatest rapper? That's neither here nor there. I don't think that you have to necessarily. Uh, I'll have to put that title on him for me to think that he's the goat for all that he has done in this Christian hip hop space. So I'm very happy that um, that he's in a good space. I'm happy that he has ended the church close uh, the church close series in such a positive way. But I'm also happy to hear that he is not done making music so wherever you go to stream uh 
uh, to support, to buy your music, make sure you go to do that and run up the numbers for Church Clothes 4 by Lecrae. Um, I know he will greatly appreciate it. And I think the CHH culture at large will appreciate it as well. So uh, I really do appreciate you guys checking out this recap countdown.